Are you a hardworking business owner striving for success online? There is help. Welcome to the School of Internet Marketing Podcast, featuring candid conversations and inspiring stories of online success. Now here's your host. This is Kimberly Jaknowski, Project Coordinator for the School of Internet Marketing, and today I'm your host. Today I'll be talking with school founder James Martell about an email marketing case study that he's engaged in with a local pub in his hometown. Now before James joins us, just a reminder to our listeners that if you have any questions for our guests during the show, or at any time, that you please post them on our Facebook page at Facebook slash Go Great Minds. James Martell is a successful author, publisher, podcaster, and founder of the School of Internet Marketing. James is also an instructor here at the school and teaches a number of popular courses on topics ranging from SEO, outsourcing, to email marketing, and more. James is a hands-on instructor who is always working in the field every day, placing him in a unique position to be right up to date on what's working now in the world of online marketing. James, it's great to be chatting with you. Hey, Kim, really great to be on. Now, I know we're going to be sharing an actual live case study of an email marketing campaign you've constructed for a local pub. But before we get into that, though, why is email marketing important to small business owners? Such a great question. I think it probably really boils down to it is such a great way for business owners to bring in new leads to their business and more importantly, I guess, new customers. Uh, It's not surprising that the traditional forms of advertising, local newspaper, radio, the yellow pages, basically the staples of the advertising industry for small businesses uh, of the past are not performing like they once did, thanks uh, very much to the internet internet, which is, uh, of course, where most of those eyeballs have shifted. And now that the masses have moved to the online world, it's important that business owners really take note of that and have strategies in place to be able to engage not only new and potential customers, but also existing customers to to keep them, uh, keep bringing them back over and over again. Because the market really is uh, online, the internet has offered a real unique opportunity for small business owners to get a real jump start on their competition. Uh, if they have a look around, they'll probably notice that many of their competitors are not collecting the names and email addresses uh, of their clients. And this is a great opportunity for uh, local business owners to take a, you know, basically a proactive step forward ahead of their competition and really uh, position themselves as a, a lead dog, so to, so to speak, when it comes to, uh, to marketing their businesses online. All right. So, James, if you could please tell us about the case study or actually first, I guess, tell us about the business and why they decided to start collecting email addresses from their customers. Sure, you bet. The name of the company is called Sawbucks Pub, and it's a little pub I frequent uh, in the area. It's located right in the middle of the community and very nicely appointed. They got great food, great staff, the owner's on the ball. But there's some things happening around them, uh, which is essentially they're in the midst of a competition boom. So I was talking to them about uh, email marketing as a great strategy for them to uh, step out and take the lead over the, over the existing uh, business. And then all All of the sudden, lo and behold, uh, three brand new pubs are popping up in the area. One just opened the doors and two are opening very soon. So all of the sudden, they, of course, they had competition before, but they were and probably still are one of the leaders in the industry. But now there's some real serious competition coming in. And this is one of the reasons we decided to uh, approach them and say, you know what? We can really help you out here. This is, uh, these are some strategies that you can follow that you can actually implement yourself. It's not going to cost you a lot of money. It's just a matter of getting geared up and getting set up. So basically the pub, before we got started, didn't have an email marketing strategy of any kind. They didn't collect any email addresses. And now we have that integrated directly into their their marketing plan. Excellent. So what exactly is the strategy here? The strategy, it's it's essentially a quite a simple one. We wanted to come up with a way or some some incentives, some offers, uh, maybe some exclusive deals for not only existing uh, patrons, but uh, new potential patrons, customers uh, to the pub to join their email club. So we, we decided to come up with a strategy of putting, first off, the email in place in such a way that we could gather it up. But we want to give people some real reasons to want to join the email club. So we started off with join our club today and get exclusive offers and even a free dinner on your birthday. So of course, nobody goes out for a birthday dinner by themselves. So if we give the birthday person a free dinner, there's a good likelihood they're going to bring some friends. We also sweeten the pot a little bit by uh, increasing the offer that says as a club member, every month you're entered into a draw to win dinner for two. 
free tickets with VIP seating to special pub events and more. So we've really just kind of sat down with the owner and said, okay, what can we what can we use to offer the people who are visiting the website and who are walking through the door an incentive to uh, to give us their email address? Interesting. Okay, so I I kind of think that a pub wouldn't really have a lot of volume going to their website. So how do you exactly collect all of these emails? Very good question. And you're right. A pub or a small business in a, in a little town wouldn't have a tremendous amount of traffic to their site. Although I would think in a lot of cases, uh, we could uh, probably teach you some ways to improve that within some of the courses in the school. But but having said that, even a lot of, a lot of sites do have some traffic. It may be 50 visitors a day. It may be 100 visitors a day. And the first place we wanted to start was to make sure that the visitors who were hitting the site were given a real attractive offer to join that email club, to become a part of our our VIP club, join our club, be the first to hear what's happening at Sawbucks. You're going to get a free dinner on your birthday. You're, you'll be entered into a draw to win dinner for two every month. You can get free tickets with VIP seating to the special pub event. So really sweeten the pot a little bit so that we do convert those people who are coming to the site. So even though a site may have small volume, if you've got a decent offer there, if you have only 100 people a month coming to your to your site, and over the period of 30 days, that's 3,000. If only 2% of them subscribed, you'd be looking at 60 new subscribers each month. Over the period of a year, that adds up. That's 720 new subscribers that you can now communicate with on a regular basis, basically for free. So number one is we, we set up a little opt-in offer on the site. If you visit sawbuckspub.com, you'll notice when you hit the uh, homepage or some sliders, sliding images that we change every month for the pub. And right at the bottom of that image, there there's an offer to uh, click on a link to come through to join our exclusive club. So that was the number one strategy that we kicked off. But of course, the real volume are the customers that are walking into the pub every single day. And we wanted to come up with some strategies. And we talk a lot about this in the Email Marketing 101 for Business course, where we, we take your business, any type of business, and we show you how to develop a strategy to gather up those email addresses. So in, in this particular case, just to give you one example, a quick example, we live in a market where our NHL hockey team happens to be the uh, Vancouver Canucks. And of course, sports fans are very passionate about their sports. And on the two nights coming into the playoffs, we have a pub that's absolutely jam-packed to the rafters with a couple hundred people in it, two nights in a row as they kicked off the uh, the, the playoffs for the Stanley Cup. So what we did is we want to piggyback off these big events. So we put together a little card, a little promotional card that we actually share with you in the uh, in the course that works really good. And what we did in this particular case is the owner was going to jer- going to uh, raffle off a jersey anyways. So what we said to to Rod was, well, instead of just getting everybody to write their name on a piece of paper and drop it in a fishbowl, let's give them out these special join our email club promo cards where they're going to get. First off, they'll be alerted to the, to the offer that if they do join, they're going to get that free dinner on their birthday and they're going to be entered into the draw to win the free VIP seating and possibly a dinner every month and that type of thing. But get them to fill out their name, their email address and their birthday month so we can send them a, a card on their birthday through email to invite them in for, for, uh, for a birthday dinner. But now, instead of giving them a little slip of paper, give everybody the card and then let them fill it out. You can explain to them what it is because he's on the microphone anyhow. He did. Well, after two nights, just two events, uh, we had over 400 emails to uh, enter into the system. So there's lots of little ways to collect emails. It's really just a matter of getting into a marketing mindset, really working it through to figure out how you're going to do it. If you've got special events where you've got lots of people coming in like a pub or a restaurant or any type of business sometimes has events Uh, this is the optimum time just to get a little bit organized and to gather up those email addresses and if you can imagine in a two-night period having over 400 email addresses these are prime time customers these are people who've already patronized your business these are easy to invite back and to get better engaged and to begin to educate them a little bit on what else is going on in the pub and that's you know that's really what that's really what this is all about is we want we want to be able to keep the new and existing customers and long-term customers up to date with what's going on in the pub. And email is is one really good way to do that. That's, that's fantastic. So now that you have all those emails, what type of emails do you send out to them? 
Well, there's basically two types of emails. There's the type of email that we queue up in the system that goes out automatically. So if uh, someone comes along or when someone comes along and subscribes, they're going to get just a nice little welcome email. It says, you know, it's great to have you with us. Uh, thank you so much for joining our email club. And it'll remind them, you know, hey, on, on Saturday nights, we do 1295 Prime Rib. A couple little reminders, nothing too much. And hey, by the way, if uh, you haven't visited us on Facebook, why don't you click through on the link below and, and visit our Facebook page. And, and, you know, if you wouldn't mind, give us a like. Like. So there is. So now we've got them basically subscribing from the email. Now they're subscribing into Facebook. And then there's a series of emails that go out automatically. So there'll be another one a couple days later that'll say, uh, do you need to raise money for a charity or group? Did you know Sawbucks is famous in the area for hosting very powerful fundraisers? And there's a little email that it just explains that. Then we spread them out a little bit because we don't want to abuse it. So then a week later, we'll, we'll remind them, hey, did you know that Wednesday nights are wing night? We have 35 cent wings on special. A uh, little picture of the wings in the email. Nice little package of email. Uh, and that goes out automatically. There'll be another one that says, uh, and again, a full week, maybe 10 days later. So we're not abusing it. Hey, do you need a fun evening out? And who doesn't? We remind them uh, on Tuesday nights, we have Tuesday night trivia. So bring some friends get a team together come down and compete for prizes or Thursday nights uh, we send out another email on a Thursday to just say hey you know tonight is karaoke night with uh, Jacqueline from Almost Famous Karaoke come on down we've got uh, some great fun don't worry if you're not a singer if you just want to be a fly on the wall and listen to some great music uh, we'd love to have you so essentially these are the emails we're using that just basically educates them on to many of the happenings that go on every week after week after week at the pub and it's just kind of a way to, to educate them the second type of email would be more of the announcement type email at Sawbox and in, and in a lot of businesses they may have a special event or a special offer something's coming up in the case of the pub they'll have a music a music act come in each month so last month it was a tribute to ACDC they were amazing they have one coming in who's going to be a tribute to uh, Jimi Hendrix they've got one that just finished up uh, last week a tribute to the tragically hip. So those we gear up an email or two just to remind remind them to let them know that uh, hey the band's going to be here on Friday night. A couple little reminders a few days before and then boom all, all cases the pub is absolutely jammed on those nights and uh, of course email really helps to uh, to be able to give us a real a real inexpensive highly effective method of uh, reaching out to uh, our existing customers to let them know what's going on mm -hmm. that sounds very effective so James of course you're the founder here at the School of Internet Marketing and I know that you have a course actually email marketing 101 for business could you please tell us a little bit about that course I would be very happy to. Well, essentially the course, uh, it consists of a series of lessons. There's 10 in total where we work out the strategy on how to organize your own email marketing campaign to map out the offers that you're going to be giving them, the incentives in the case of the pub. We had to sit down with the owner and figure out, okay, what are we going, what is the offer going to be? What is, what is the little incentive to subscribe? Well, to, uh, to offer a free dinner on your birthday. That was a great idea. That was actually the pub owner's idea. The other one was to win dinner for two each month where we can do a draw. Another good idea. Doesn't cost them much, if anything, to do this. Uh, free tickets with VIP seating. That was another little thing that we had to come up with uh, in this particular case because he does the monthly music. That was a natural. The place is packed. It can be hard to get seats. Well, if you're a part of the email club, we're going to draw each month to give you exclusive seating right up front. So just some incentives up front to, uh, to do. So we work through the strategies. Then we talk about how are we going to collect emails. So in our case, it was a natural to put it on the website. It was also a natural to piggyback off the big events. And there's many other ways that can be designed to gather up email addresses. We talk about what to say in the emails, how to write them, what software to use to send them. And we walk you through all the technical things uh, as far as setup goes. And we also share with you that promotional email card that uh, we use at the pub so successfully it could be easily modified slightly and uh, be used for any business. And But essentially, I guess by the time you're done the course, you are actually fully engaged. You've got your email marketing campaign and strategy organized and set up. And uh, by the time we're done, you're, you're already collecting emails. Okay. So if somebody was interested in enrolling the course, which sounds extremely valuable, how would they go about doing that? 
Essentially, the course is hosted at the School of Internet Marketing, and to get to the course, you simply need to become a member, member of the school, and it's $47 a month, which gives you access to the full course, but it also gives you access to a lot of support. You, If you get stuck or have questions along the way, we've got a private Facebook group that you can drop into and post a question. We've got a chat form for the same, and uh, I also host a twice monthly live Q&A in our online conference room just to make sure that uh, you never get stuck. We also also, uh, the course is uh, formatted in 10 30-minute video lessons, so they're very easy to consume. You can get started at any time. All of the lessons are online, so you can take the course from anywhere. So you don't actually have to physically uh, visit a, a location. You can do it from the comfort of your own computer, and uh, you can pick it up spend maybe an hour on it this week. If you get busy, pick it up next week and uh, off you go and just continue on. So with the goal, by the time you're done, you have a successful email campaign and strategy in place for your business. Awesome. So I have a feeling that a lot of small business owners like pub owners might not be very internet savvy. So what if a person is not very technically inclined but still wants to take the course? So very true. And a lot of business owners are also not technically inclined. Uh, they're also very busy. So with this in mind, there's there's some things that they can do. And I think we usually get a chuckle when we mention this because the, the exact person usually comes to mind. So what, what, what I would suggest, if, if you're either too busy to do it, you, you obviously probably see the, the opportunity here with by collecting email addresses to give you an amazing marketing platform. But if you're too busy or not technically inclined, there's probably somebody that works for you in the office or in the restaurant or in the pub or in the automotive store or in your, if you happen to be a chiropractor or a dentist or a, a doctor of some type, you have staff. I would guess somebody on the staff is always playing on their phone. They're always the one checking their Facebook page and they like this stuff. I would recommend tasking them with taking this course. You can have them go through the course and implement everything that we've put together. None of it's rocket science. It's really a, simply following the tutorials, a little bit of thinking, a little bit of planning, and then getting things set up. And within the course, we take the, uh, the students step by step through the entire process. So by the time you've begun to the time that you've, end, that you've ended the course or completed the course, then you've got your strategy and you've got uh, your system all set up. That sounds like a great way of going about it for sure. So once they're through the course, what would somebody do after they're finished? When they're completed the course, that's a good question. They've got a few options. Number one, they can actually, they're done. So if they want to cancel their monthly subscription, no problem. It was great to have you and good luck with uh, the gathering up of your emails. Of course, that'll be an ongoing thing. Your strategy will be in place and you'll be collecting emails this week, this month, next month, six months from now, a year from now. I bet you'll be collecting them two years from now to build out a beautiful email list of people that uh, you can continually be bringing back into the business. If you'd like to take it to the next level, you can then maybe move on to another course. Maybe you're a little weak in the marketing area on Facebook. Maybe you have a Facebook page that doesn't have any likes or hasn't been touched for a week or two or a month or three. So that could use some attention. So we, you, you could jump into a course like Facebook 101 for small business with uh, Stephanie Lichtenstein out of, out of uh, she happens to live in Miami, Florida. And she does just a beautiful little six lesson course that'll take you through the entire strategy building, campaign setting, organizing graphics, get your Facebook page set up so you can begin to bring in more customers from Facebook. So there's really, there's a series of courses in there that you can take that uh, you can just keep marching forward with, I would suggest just the goal at the end of a period of a year that you could be the dominant player in your marketplace uh, online for uh, gathering in new customers to your business. Yeah, that sounds like a great course to get into for sure. So it's $47 to join the School of Internet Marketing. Now, do you pay on a course by course basis once you're finished one component? How does oh, that work? Very good question. Thanks for bringing that up. No, you don't. You actually pay $47 per month. You're not locked in it any way. In any way, you can cancel at any time. But it's $47 a month, which gives you full access to all courses in the school. And we add a new one every couple months and all interviews in the school. Because in addition to the courses, there's also a series of about 80 plus interviews with other business owners and other people who, who <laughs> has successfully, there you go, transitioned from the more traditional forms of advertising into the new era of the internet in which we live. So no, it's just $47 a month. Uh, you're all in. Excellent. That sounds like great value for sure. So I see we're coming up against the clock here, James. Thank you so much for joining me today. Kimberly, thank you so much. It's been, uh, it's been great. Thank you for listening. 
To learn more about the School of Internet Marketing and to get access to all exclusive courses and interviews, visit theschoolofinternetmarketing.com. That's www.theschoolofinternetmarketing.com. That's www.theschoolofinternetmarketing.com.